Kim had gotten back to her people she had told them about meeting the werewolf Kate, and what she had told her about the vampires. But they did not believe her, and chalked it up to a wild imagination. Yet still they packed up their supplies and left the island immediately. But they did not abandon their loved ones who were sick. So when they landed upon the next island half of the people on their ships were vampires and one night they seized control, and forced all of the humans into a box canyon and blocked it off, so there was no escape. And then the vampires all disappeared before the first light. And all through the day the people were frightened and could no understand what had happened to their loved ones, or why they were locked in this box canyon so just before dark, Kim transformed into a werewolf for the first time, and ran around scratching as many of the people from village that were still human as she could. She wasn't trying to eat them. She still saw them as her village. But they did not know that, and tried to capture her. So then she burst through the gate that was trapping them in the box canyon, and then as everyone ran out screaming and scattering, she tried to chase them, like a sheepdog leading them to safety, chasing them off of the beach and up the mountain dot where the humans who made it, formed a village high up on the mountain, and so Kim stayed in the jungle, night after night, protecting the villagers from the vampires, as her people slowly turned into werewolves themselves, and Kim. One day rejoined her people, and she eventually married and had a daughter, who she named Caitlin, after that werewolf she had met years earlier on the island that her and her people had stopped on. On their journey from their old home to their new home. The end.